Hello, my friends! Hello! Can you hear me? Can you... S you well, you can't see me, but, you know, things. Hello, chat. Type. Oh, well, there you are. I've, I've been here entertaining the masses for minutes now. Listen, sometimes the weather goes, excuse me, we're going to have a giant storm and lightning will be happening and you might have to shut your computer off. So... I, I know, I know. Get Citizen ready. Storm giving you the business. Yeah, that's been, you know, the kind of day <laughs> it's been. Uh, but we're here now. So, um... Hello! It's -a me, Pirate Savvy. And with her always is Dover. Uh, welcome to On Deck, where we play Sentinels of the Multiverse every night, every, oh my god, every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. But before we get started, let's say all our important PSA stuff. I was just about to say, if we were playing every night, 7 p.m., I didn't sign up for that. It's... I think it would conflict with some of the other shows. No, it's fine. Uh, it's good. It's fine. I, We're every night but, now. It's just... I, no, it's fine. But, but I can't... Oh. And Alabra believes in civil rights for everyone, and it being as inclusive as possible. So any comments or activity actively working against that goal is not welcome and will not be tolerated. Oh. But don't... Dover. This but, yeah. is... This isn't the order we're supposed to read the I, things in. I, I don't. I. The one you. The I, one I'm I, greeting. The one you showed. You read my line. I thought we were. I thought that wasn't. Now I'm confused. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, I, look, I just wanted to screw with the rhythm a little bit so we switch to who says what in our script. Well, we did! Okay, well. I think. All right. Did we not? Oh, I. We did. I said that. Okay, tolerated thing. What comes next? You're watching Handle Lava Games! You can follow us on, at Handle Lava on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Handle Lava Games right here on Twitch. If you want to see more of me, Pirate Savvy, um, I, you can uh, see. Now it's all confused. If you want to see more of me, Pirate Savvy, find me on. Thing my own channel, twitch.tv slash pirate savvy, and you can otherwise find me on Twitter at twitter.com slash pirate savvy, and if you like Dover, he's a lot of times in my chat, most of the time in my chat, because he's the best brother like that. Yeah, I just kind of lurk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I, I laugh at pirate savvy whenever, uh, we, what, what were we playing? Uh, The Last Door? We just, uh... <laughs> This is what? true. Uh, uh, the keyhole. No, uh, that was the that, worst. Yes, yes it the was the worst. best. But but uh, the best by being the worst. Yes, correct. Sentinels of the Multiverse <laughs> is currently available for iOS, Android, and PC, Mac, and Linux via Steam. And as always, good old Channelog Cardboard and Ink. You can get this game and more information dot com. That was handleabber.com in case my internet decided to be weird and, and hiccup Dover's sweet, the sweet tones of Dover's voice. Um, I thought it was Sentinels Digital. Yeah, sentinelsdigital.com. That's the one. What What are we doing? I'm confused let's, now. Listen, let's just play the game. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, you know what? I, whatever now. Uh, you remember last week when we went on a crusade for the glory of Poseidon or something? I remember we tried to do something like that, yes. <laughs> yeah, sort of like that. I just kind of, we, we have ADSD. Or ADHD. Something. Some amount of, some assortment some, of letters. Some letters pushed together in some sort of non... I don't know. Well, yeah. You remember Gloomweaver? We fought him on the fourth Sentinels game on your home stream? You mean Gloomweaver. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, uh, I, I remember I that, that one. Saying, that was an Eartha Kid classic. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, well... Uh, Wait, I remember. I remember Green Flames and Zombies and also Voodoo. Yeah, well, um... Yeah, I, I, apparently we missed the spot. Uh, oh. He, he, sent us, he sent us a bottle. Is there a message bottles. in the bottle? Like the song? Yeah, yeah here. It's, uh, there was no genie in it. And uh, no pop stars in it either. Um, but um, just a message from. Uh... Oh yeah, pop stars and bottle. Oh jeez, I didn't even see that joke. 
Oh. I'm so mad at myself. Oh. I did did he send me the bottle? Do I need to open yeah, the bottle? Yeah, here, take the bottle. Oh Just take the bottle. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm opening it. Hold on. Let me let me let me open the bottle. Here, get this paper. Get the paper out. Okay, it says it says it says foolish mortals blah oh, this is a lot of writing. Blah blah I've... blah. <laughs> the end is nigh, blah blah. This of, is fantastic. Oblivion of shadow and despair, the likes of which has never been seen throughout the. Okay, I don't. Can you just read this and tell me what? I don't. I don't have time for this. I'm a secretary. I can read anything. Well, he wants a rematch. He's got a fancy new skin suit for the occasion, so uh, our opponent tonight will be Gloomweaver Skinwalker variant, I guess. That sounds awful. Cynicors for- wait, where are we going? What are we doing? I, tell me well, again. Don't worry, the good news is we don't want his- we won't have his home field advantage of the realm of Discord. That's the good news. Great. The bad news is, uh, we'll be fighting him in his- the closest place this, uh, Sentinels universe has to, uh, hell. Set a course for Magmaria. Wait, I'm supposed to say that? Bake him away, toys! What'd you say, <laughs> Chief? Captain? D do what the kid says. <laughs> We're going to Magmaria. Get it, losers! We're going to Magmaria! <laughs> oh god. I don't even have the game. Where's the game at? I found it! I found the game. Yes. It was minimized. It's fine. Okay, okay we're so, good. A Gloomweaver is somewhere near the middle. You just click him until he becomes the Skinwalker variant. Why? Oh, right. I gotta do that. <laughs> I found him. He's right here. I'm not gonna lie to you, Hankroyd. I have play tested this guy. There is a there is a chance that this guy will be the one yeah. to break the streak. Uh, difficulty four. That is nothing to scoff at. But uh, this environments. Is, this is a three. That's a three. Okay. That is one less than four. Huh. Then what was I playing? I don't know. I'm confused now. Well, uh, environments, uh, Magmaria is third from the right. Oh. I'm doing the thing. <laughs> joke that this game gives us a break from giant rabbits, but it does have freaky cultists, and here we are beating up. Yep. Listen. Sorry, guys, I'm, like, really terrible about chat tonight. I'm, like, I'm really, like... I've, I've been without my phone for, like, 36 hours, and I just... Oh, my God. Savvy. I've turned it on a couple times. Cause, like, I turned it on, like, right after I got the coffee on it. And then I turned it on, like, once today to check something. But I'm trying to just leave it off so it will make sure it's completely dry. But, like, I just... It's... It's given me the... It's given me the crazy! The, the, the best <laughs> um, part of waking up is not Folgers in your phone. I know, Folgers! How did you betray me like this? What's oh. up, Bishop? Welcome. This so, yes, um, yes, Otaku Dash. Um, I like some. I had a cup of my morning Folgers coffee, and it was sitting there ready to be deliciously drank. And like, I went to put my sweater on, and like, my sweater just barely nicked the edge of my cup, causing it to kind of wobble. And that was just enough for my cup that even had the lid on it to like spit some coffee out and land around my phone. And I thought it was safe. But that was a lie. Hey, Hoja, you're just in time for the tragic tale of Savvy's coffee. I know. Welcome. So now my poor phone is taking a nice rice bath for... It's been in there for, like, 36 hours. My my good friend, Brodzilla, brought me some rice so that I could put put it in. <laughs> my phone in. Because I was already, uh... Already out of my house. It was bad. Phone was thirsty. Yeah! Well, now... Now it's thirsty forever. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. A cursed phone? When you say you need some juice, that's not what... That's not the intake. It's not the proper... Ah, uh, never mind. I don't know. This is my life. This this emote of mine is my life right now. Hoja, you feel me. You get it. Like, that's that's my life right now. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> Lordy Lou. So I did not plan ahead as to who I should play today. So um, I re I realize I'm usually so on top of that. You know what? I have done a couple of um, 
I, I don't remember the big fancy word for it, but it's I've done several arrangements of characters, and um, it ended happily. Uh, well, a couple things. Yeah, Nem Night Mist is going to have to be on the team in order to get that uh, fancy achievement for you know g getting the thing. I've tried Night Mist once before. If you guys, I'd be happy to. Okay. Take the reins for her as long as she gets the final hit, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm happy so. to try her again. Like I said, sometimes you gotta push the baby bird out of the nest so it can fly. So it's up to you. If you like playing her, then you are happy. I'm more than happy to let you play her. Uh, to be perfectly shallow with you, I just like looking at her. I mean, I mean, who doesn't? She's got beautiful white hair. Yeah. Where you at, Nightman? Look at her. Crazy, shiny. She's smoking. She's literally smoking, you guys. Except I, uh, misting, I guess, which is not the same. So but I listen, vaping, for the joke, the joke pun is she literally smoking. Is she so vaping? Please let that. Ha no, <laughs> I don't know. I guess, I guess, I guess that works better. I don't know. You did go ahead to do the thing. Okay. Well, uh, then, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take night mist then. So and you go ahead and pick one. I don't have the shiny hero pack. Um, I, I don't know if I have it. <laughs> that will, that will be that will be alleviated before too long. Don't don't worry about Is it. Is it just not not to, not this day? Was it something I needed to update prior to stream? Because I'm a yeah, professional. Yeah, it's something. It's something we'll have to deal with later. Okay. Um, well, I failed you, Bishop, is what it comes down to. <laughs> it's one of the many shiny things that's available on stream for purchase. Yes. Uh, it's like the shiny villains that we have. Alright. Well, no, nobody told me, Dover. <laughs> I, look, I did not. It's I fine. know, Otaku Dash, for the love of little green apples, it's always my favorite characters, you know? Yeah, this was... This was a sad episode. This was rough. <laughs> I just failed myself. Just, yeah. Like, every day. Every day of my life, you guys. <laughs> I don't understand um... why. Yeah, look, I'm just the navigator. I am not the strategist. I am not the, uh... I just picked two. What do you think? Cool. Cool. What, um, do, you, what do we think? I That looks lovely to me. Uh, in which case, I am going to take, like, I want to seriously lay the hammer down on these, uh, cultist types. So what I'm going to do is bring out this guy. Okay. Now, I'm not, I'm not done yet. We're bringing a full five. We're, oh, we're rolling five deep on this guy. man. We are rolling five deep on this fella. Oh, man. Uh... Let's see here. I just want to pinch their little cheeks and be like, and look at these handsome gentlemen. I I don't think you should do that to absolute zero. Um, well, no. He's gonna die. Mm. Sam! Oh, I, I think... What it is, Sam? Oh, and also Thurindos. I don't think we got, uh... I think I know who I'm gonna bring in. I'm gonna bring in Tempest. Don't imbue in fire. Of, in is... honor of the horrible weather. But not just any Tempest. The Extreme! <laughs> <laughs> I Guitar do love, riff. I do love Tempest. I like him because he heals. Uh, did you miss anything? No, I just complained because it was storming and I was afraid I, we were going to be super late to stream, uh, but we were just regular late. <laughs> we were just, uh, you, we were savvy levels of late. Who do you want? What? Would you mind putting absolute zero at the head of the rotation? Nope. Um. No, no, no. I, so, sorry. I'm not Tempest. Absolute zero. Bloop. Bloop. That's the one. Um. And then I was complaining about my phone again, basically. Is imbued fire something I do, you guys? Yes, it's something that Rob. Does. Okay, so tell, remind me not to do the thing. It's gonna be fine, guys. It's gonna be fine, everybody. Ev Actually, hmm. Now I'm having second thoughts. Fortune favors the bold. 
Also, second thoughts. Yeah, Sam. Sam, how are you? How's your life? Nah, what the hey? <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> At first, I was thinking maybe I'll put in Visionary instead so that I can mess with uh, Gloomweaver's damage dealing if I can get Twisty Ether out there. But... No, don't worry about it, Thrin. Oh. I, ran in, I ran into that issue before, but... Yeah, exactly, Otaku Dash. You, you got me. Yeah, listen, like... We're gonna lose at some point. It might as well be today. Um, I don't know what Gloomweaver's we supposed to sound like in, in any form, so we're just gonna go with it. Hello again, tiny mortals. I have returned, and I'm ready to feast. You know, now that I think about it, maybe we should have tried to do that in, like, the simultaneous voice, I think, oh. maybe. But at the same time, I don't think we could have pulled that off. Oh. Uh, I mind. believe in us. Tempers are running hot. Time to cool things down. Oh, the puns. Onward. You know. All right, we're going to look at this Gloomweaver situation first. Okay, okay so uh, this is so skin. Yeah, this is Skinwalker Gloomweaver, which is the variant of the regular Gloomweaver. Who has been watching Dragon Tail, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, at the start of the game, Gloomweaver enters play. Skinwalker side up. That's this side. Pouch of Bones is put into play. Oh, now I'm sad. The villain deck is shuffled. The first time a non-villain target is destroyed each turn top card of the villain deck is played. Oh, so like anything of ours? No. The, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, like a environment oh, or environment. one of our cards or something. Okay. Uh, when Gloomweaver would be destroyed, his villain character card flips to the rotting god side instead. That's this side. I it just... is simultaneously a mess and great. Uh, well, hold on, hold on. Just uh, finish finish this side before we go. Uh... Uh, at the end of the villain turn, Gloomweaver deals the non-villain target with the second lowest HP for melee damage. Okay, that seems stupid. Uh, and then, so this other side is the Rotting God. So when flipped to this side, Gloomweaver's maximum hit point is 100. That's stupid. Gloomweaver is restored to 100 hit points, so basically he flips and goes to 100? That's terrible! Hey, hey, it's no different from when Baron Blade flipped from his from his, uh, Terra Lunar thing to his, uh, what do you call it? His Lex Luthor power suit form. The only difference is about 70 hit points. I see. I'm digging this music, side note. Um... At the start of the villain turn, Gloomy revealed each hero target five infernal damage. That doesn't seem fair. Whenever a cultist is destroyed, the top card of the villain deck is played. Dead stupid. Whenever a target is destroyed, Gloomy regains two hit points. That's stupid. At the end of its villain turn, Gloomy deals each non-hero target three infernal deck. This seems terrible. Let's not flip him over ever. Well, unfortunately, we don't have a choice. Does he just automatically wait? Okay, so when, when Gloomer would be destroyed, his villain character card flips to the rotting god. So we have to get him all the way to zero, yep. then flip him, and then get him to zero again? Yep, we gotta power him down. Why did you want to play this guy again? <laughs> What's this want stuff? <laughs> oh. Non-villain target with the second lowest hit points. Night Mist. That's great. Um, great, let's start the game. Pouch of Bones. Reduce damage dealt to zombies by one. Whenever a zombie enters play, each villain target regains five hit points. Okay, yeah. For a note to self, er, he is, in fact, a zombie. He doesn't look like a zombie. Story doesn't check out. Oh, his snake. He's got a snick. A snick. We ran into these, a lot of these on the trail to Oregon. Right, Sam? Right, Sam? Oh, uh. Uh, so, Ophidia the Deceiver. At the end of the villain turn, this card deals the target hero with the highest hit point, X toxic damage, where X equals 5 plus the number of voodoo pins in play. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that, that has got to go. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, oh, you played your card. Did you want to go through your? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm going to actually come to think of it. I, I may as well. Uh, uh, skip back to the beginning of my turn. I'm going to do something slightly different anyway. But okay. Okay. So, start of my turn. Uh, his cards. Cold snap. Actually, you know what? You list the name of the cards, and I will read it. Oh. Uh, cold snap. Cold snap. At the start of your turn, absolutely zero deals each non-hero target one cold damage. <laughs> this is just like whack-a-mole, but with stupider targets. Glacial structure. Oh, jeez. Thanks, uh, Sparkus Dancy. Thank you for supporting your stream team. Yes, thank you, Sparkus Dancy, for the 50 fine... It's fine bits. <laughs> I was like, 50 fine bits. No, it's fine. Those are, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead, Glacier Structure, go. Draw three cards, then destroy this card. Oh. It's always nice to take a quiet moment for quiet, or take a moment for a quiet reflection. Okay. Null point calibration unit. When absolute zero would take cold damage, he regains that many hit points instead. That's fancy. Onboard module installation. You may draw a card. Search your deck for a module card and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck. You may play a card. <laughs> what to wear? What to wear? <laughs> okay, so uh, absolutely. I'm going zero. to do. I'm going to do exactly what I did before. Play onboard module installation. Get this card. It uh, brings in modular realignment. I'm going to draw isothermic transducer. An isothermic transducer. The transducer will seduce ya. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? That was a Rocky Horror okay. reference. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, okay. It's a well, fam family stream. I'm singing. We needed to make our Tim Curry reference, our quota for the day. That's true. That's true. There's your Tim Curry reference for the day. Yeah. Every, every one of our streams has to have one. <laughs> Uh, but Isothermic Transducer. Whenever Absolute Zero is dealt fire damage, Absolute Zero deals one target that much cold damage. Good. But I'm actually not going to play that one yet. I'm going to play his Null Point Calibration. You... Nah, never mind. I'm going to play the... I'm gonna... Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, he hasn't taken any damage yet, so there's no point in We just using started. The ice yet. So, I'll just throw the fire one out there. Absolute zero deals himself either one cold damage or one fire damage. Yeah, that's so, his power. So, yeah. Fire damage. He's going to set fire to himself. Maven! My stream wife! And, as such, deal one cold damage to Ophidia the Jerk. Cold Snap. That's like my favorite, one of my good spells from uh, the world of Warcraft. Okay. What do we got here? Okay, first of all, Legacy's power is that until the start of your next turn, is galvanized. Until the start of your next turn, increase damage dealt by hero targets by one. So it basically gives the rest of the team a buff by one damage point. Okay, bolster allies. Each player draws a card. That's a solid option. Danger Sense. Uh, Legacy is immune to damage from environment cards. Also a solid choice. Lead from the front. Whenever a hero will be dealt uh, damage by a villain card, you may redirect that damage to Legacy. That's also a solid one, but, like, let's maybe not start dealing damage to him immediately. Uh, no. Motivational charge. Uh, Legacy deals one target, two melee damage, and each... Oh, I kind of want to put that out, like, right away, I think. Uh, I would say bolster allies first, since it's kind of yeah. the beginning here. Uh, but also, one thing I learned, and... You know, the, the chat's probably going to agree with me on this. Uh, well, number one, I picked the wrong Tempest to bring to the party. But number two, if you can get <laughs> lead from the front out there, and if you can get next evolution out there, and make him immune to infernal damage, it basically makes this fight a very, very long joke with no punchline. Well, good. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with that. I like winning. Oh, I got my Fire Blast card, guys. I love my Fire Sweet. Blast card. Remember when I got it twice last, last was, stream? Oh, jeez. So Everybody, was... check out issue six. If you have not already, if you were there, check out issue six of On Deck. Because, oh, lordy. Oh. Lordy Lou. <laughs> Sneck needs to die. Yes, Otaku Dash. 
Yeah, I like cried with all of the emotions I was feeling when I got two fire blasts in one turn. And wasn't it like two buffed fire blasts? God, that yes. was magic. Whoa, oh, oh, it's magic. You're welcome, everyone. Hey. Wait. Theme songs and oh, Tim Curry, musical sorry. numbers and Tim Curry references. That's what you're going to get with us. If you don't like it, then, you know. But, uh, oh, what was it? I like this, um, too. I like punching people in the face with the back of my fist. Kaboom. Yeah. Get him, Night Mist. Get him in the face. Uh, let's see. She does not have any of the stuff that I would like her to have. Story of my life. And plus, she also has... Hmm. Where's my yeah. bag of rice phone? It's over here. I just want to look at it, make sure, make sure she's doing okay. You doing all right? You doing all right? I have her deal herself three damage. I'm totally paying attention. Three cards. Oh, we didn't go through your cards, man. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, I am the worst. Oh, thank God, the amulet. It's fine. I'm a professional streamer. Uh. Ra 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 ah ah. What? <laughs> all you need to know for uh, Night Mist's turn is that she didn't get any of the cards that she needs. Great. Uh, except for the last card she drew. All right, so, so anyway, it is. yeah, Ra's got Blazing Tornado. Ra deals a one target, three fire damage. That's not a, you know, bad card. It's a power, so I probably want to put that out there probably sooner than later because it's better than his base power, I think. Fire Blast, my personal favorite card. Ra deals a one target, five damage. Uh, Flame Spike, Ra deals one target, one fire damage. You may use an additional power this turn. Oh, man. Uh, you want to save that for when you're set up a blazing tornado. Yeah. I'm ready for that. Uh, Scorched Earth. Raw deals each non-hero target X fire damage where X is the number of environment cards in play. Okay, this may or may not be a good card at some point. So uh, if... Yeah, Magmaria tends to crowd up fast. So yeah, hold on to that. Great. Uh, increase fire damage dealt by Raw by 2. That seems nice. At the end of your turn, Raw may deal himself 4 psychic damage. If he takes no damage this way, his card is destroyed. I probably should try to throw this out when I um, am able to do like the flame spike or something. So I'm thinking maybe... Should I just Blazing Tornado or should I fire, just just throw out the Fire Blast? Like, let's... I'm going to say Fire Blast yeah. and use your base power and take Ophidia out of this fight. Yeah. I'm like, let's... let's run out of the gate on fire. Yeah. Chariots of fire. Do, 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 do. Yeah, JC, it's the part when um, they're all, like, turning them all to stone. He's turning them all into statues right before the floor show. And he's like, The Transducer will seduce ya. And, like, the one where Janet goes, Stop! I'm not... I'm not gonna do that again. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop quoting Rocky Horror and blow up the snake <laughs> with my fire. Uh, Don't snake. get hot and flustered. I lied to you for a second. I'm done now. <laughs> don't don't write checks you can't cash. I know. I gotta stop telling you guys I'm gonna stop singing because it's a lie. It's always a lie. I know. Take that snack. That's for what you did to us in Oregon. I'm all on the trail to Oregon. You know what you did. You guys, Sam was Sam popped on and let and streamed Oregon Trail for us the other week, and it was a great time. And we learned that there were a lot of snakes on, on the trail to Oregon. Wait, no, we gotta go through your cards, Tempest. Oh, uh, it, 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 start of turn. No, no, no. What's in your trash? What's in your trash? Oh, we can just okay, look at it. Okay, fine. You you used into the fine. stratosphere. Uh, Select one non-indestructible villain card in play other than a character card and put it on the top of the villain deck. Tempest deals the villain target with the highest hit points two projectile damage. Okay, so you... Away with you. So you did this guy two damage, right? Three damage oh. because of the galvanize. Right, right, right. Okay, so you did him three damage and you threw away the bag of bones, right? Yeah. Cool. All right, and then you've got your ball lightning. 
Uh, that is... Um, deals one target, four lightning damage. You may destroy up to two ongoing cards. That's there gonna... aren't a whole lot of ongoing cards in this deck, but, you know, four damage I like. And then... Electrical Storm. Uh, you can mix it with chocolate to make chocolate uh, power thirst. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, Electrical Storm. Uh, at the start of your turn, Tempest deals each non-hero target one lightning damage. It's kind of like what uh, Cold Snap does for Absolute Zero, only with lightning instead. And then Grievous Hailstorm. That's a nice card. Tem Tempest deals each non-hero target two cold damage. And then the last one... Oh, and you had an extra card because of my bolster allies, right? Yes, that's Correct. Okay. That'll be, uh, well, whichever. Uh, lightning Slash. Tempest deals one target five lightning damage. So it's kind of like Fire Blast for lightning. Yeah, it's basically, I mean, lightning is fire if you want to get real technical. Yeah. So More or less. It's basically the same card. It's all a circle. All right, and then this this is Prime Warden's Tempest. What does he do? Tempest yeah. deals... So, oh, go ahead. Uh, the reason that I was thinking maybe I brought the wrong Tempest to the party is that his incapacitated ability, the original Tempest incapacitated ability, makes everybody immune to one type of damage a turn. So if he had the original Tempest, make every, if he were to die first and deal... Uh, and, and make everyone immune to infernal damage... That would be hilarious, once again, rendering this fight a joke. But I instead picked Prime Warden's Tempest for his ability. It deals one target, one lightning damage. A non-character target dealt lightning or dealt damage this way loses any end-of-turn effects on this card until the start of Tempest next turn. So I was thinking to myself, um, uh, I could use it to um, basically take his, all of his cultists and all the damage they do, take them off the table, but hopefully it won't come up. Yeah. Punch him in the face. So yeah, unfortunately, since Gloomweaver is in fact a character, uh, his end of turn negation won't do anything. Oh man, you can reclaim from the deep, you can blow him up with your, your lightning fire blast, and then do it again. I like that idea. A uh, smoldering crystal. What does that do? Oh, uh, oh at the uh, Exploding Crystal, at the end of the environment turn, the players may choose one hero card to be dealt three fire damage. A player... Oh, it's may choose. A player whose hero character takes damage this way may put this card in their hand. This card cannot be played from a player's hand. I'm confused. Absolute zero volunteers a tribute. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's correct. I you see. see where I'm going with this. Because his isothermic transducer is going to react. Isothermic deuce. Isothermatic. Isothermatic deuce. We'll seduce you. Listen, I don't think before I say words. It's hard. Yes, I will add that to my hand. Oh, so it's like currency a little bit. Thanks, Citizen. And now You're he doesn't get to me. play a card. I've never been to this place before. It's very fiery. Rob probably likes it here. Oh, we're at the top of the order. That is correct. So he didn't get to play any cards because Night We Are Night Mist uh, mist binded him. So all he was able to do was deal four damage to somebody, and uh, now this basically just gives us a free turn. Oh, Gloomweaver wasn't able to do damage. I, why don't we just do that every time? Well, he was able to deal damage to us with his base, like, deals the second to the lowest hit points person for damage. But what he was not able to do was play any cards. And we already know what card he's going to play because I threw that uh, pile of that bag of bones on top of his deck. So that basically just gave us a free turn. I, I mean, good. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy about that. Good to know you're on top of uh, on top of what I'm getting. This is fine. Okay, so uh, yeah, he just dealt himself uh, two fire damage, or yeah, two fire damage because of um, Legacy's Galvanize. But then whenever he takes fire damage, he deals an equal amount of ice damage to something else. However, 
since his focused apertures increase ice damage and Legacy's Galvanize increases damage further. Now it's a three damage... Um, I, I forget what they call it. But yeah, three more damage they would have been dealing otherwise. Okay, so, uh, back to the, um, the Legacy show featuring, um... Legacy? A bunch of cards that I enjoy. I know, I like a lot of these. Um, has, it, has everybody taken damage at this point? I think everyone except Ra has taken damage. I'm just trying to decide if I should put in... I say put in Inspiring Presence and Galvanize because that's going to up our damage. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And right. then you can start motivational charging if you like, or doing whatever you want. I'm fast forwarding through the healing. Oh, okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like me some heavenly choirs, but... Me too. Uh, I was not a professional and got us started late, so... Okay, until the starting next... Oh, so we're galvanizing it up. Everybody gets their, their buff, and uh, moving on. Superhuman yeah, durability. Sorry, go ahead. I would say, yeah, Citizen, that's pretty much exactly what I'm talking about. This, uh... Man, you guys, I need a nap. <laughs> I'm real tired. Draw me some cards. So yeah, I uh, for everyone who clearly already knows this by now, uh, kill it, I kill it with fire. Am Amulet of the Elder Gods, which uh, is arguably her best card. Whenever she'd be dealt damage, she's able to discard two cards and redirect it to another target. And so that's half of what makes Night Mist borderline invincible, barring someone throwing out a card that says, "Oh well, you destroy all your equipment." What are the chances of that happening? Hmm. Thank you, Sam, for your support. We'll need it. Sam, are these drawings I can see? Because I want to see all. I want to see all your pictures. Uh. So, okay. So Ra has two powers out now because I put out Blazing Tornado. His base power is that he deals one target two fire damage. This Blazing Tornado is Rod deals one target three fire damage. So we're gonna do that, because that's that's more fire. That's more burning. Love it. More burning, more good. But he's also got Galvanize, which gives the plus one, and then Inspiring Presence, also from Legacy, so now he's gonna do five damage. Yeah, Citizen Dawn, she ruins everyone's good time. It's gonna be now fine, Citizen. It's fine. Chasing the tornado on air. <laughs> I am Absolute so zero. messed up right now. I am, like, I keep thinking that Tempest is your character, but... It's because I played him, like, twice. Or a couple yeah. times. I like Exa him. Exactly. So, anyway, you here need, we go. You need his purple rain spell so you can heal us. I, I do. Purple so, yeah, he's got a lightning rain. claw. Thunder claw. Hooray! Get to see some Sam art. Makes my day better. Huzzah! Okay, so unfortunately, this is gonna be one of those where Gloomweaver actually gets to do something. No! Crystal Collector. This card is immune to fire damage. Uh oh. At the end of the turn, environment turn. No, come back. Oh, at the end of the environment turn, each player may discard a magma crystal. Any player that does may draw three cards. Uh, however, I'm going to not do that yet because uh, there are going to be other Magmarians who come in. Magmarians. And hopefully I'll be able to use one of their effects instead since card drawing isn't really something that Absolute Zero needs to do right now. Um, Ra cannot do anything against this guy, so I don't... <laughs> You know what? That's fine. These guys are... Th these guys generally don't hurt us. Why would you say those words out loud? 
I say they generally. Pouch of bones. Don't. No. Well, we already knew that was coming. No. No, please don't hurt me, Gloomweaver. I know that you're my nemesis and everything, but it. No, don't. Don't do that. That tome no. of. Was it Elder Magic? Makes me want to watch Hocus Pocus. Book! I put I'm a saying. spell on you. Yeah. And now you're gone. Gone, 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 gone! Oh, my whammy fell on you. And it was strong. Strong, it's so strong, so strong, man. And I don't strong. know all the words, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's, your wretched little lives have all been cursed. Oh. It's all the witches working. Something the, the worst. worst, yes. Welcome to your, to your literal musical stream today, guys. It's just this happens. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you. I might be like 100% in love with that whole situation. Yeah. Bette Midler is a national treasure. Yeah. Also, I was doing armography, but you guys couldn't see, and I'm really sorry. But I felt like you should know that there was, in fact, armography. Is that uh, gesticulating? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, Sappy. Hi. What what you gonna do when Legacy? Uh, um, I guess goes... I should take a turn. Um, yeah. Take a I'm turn. I'm gonna suggest take a turn. back fist strike. Um. Basically, hold off on the motivational strike for now because hopefully you'll be able to draw. So you start using two powers a turn. Oh, draw what? Uh. The Legacy Ring. Once okay. you have that, you can start using two powers a turn. You, I think you just get just cut off when you say said like a sea wing. Some it's yeah. Sorry. Listen, no, 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 you're fine. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna say back fist strike first. No, don't make me back fist. No, don't make me use my back fist strike. Anything but that. I was like, I was like already putting the card out. I'm gonna see the the pouch. Oh yeah, I'll punch this pouch of bones. Punch him in the sack. Uh, no, th th this is a fit. I, I apologize. <laughs> Like the ring was redacted. <laughs> I feel shame with a minor action. <laughs> Take down! Look at him punching Baron Blade. Or slamming him up against the wall. Um, She really doesn't have a lot of good options. I hope that portal doesn't abruptly close on her hand. I've seen that happen. I'm not happen sure that movies. is a portal. I thought that was like a weird glowy thing like Dr. Lorange has. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I do... Okay, I see your little hand poking out the other side. It's just some magic ruins. Okay, fine. Phew! She's safe. How much for the cool glowy thingy? She's safe. Hocus Pocus or Witch Witch? Worst Witch. Which do you watch for Halloween first? Um, I probably watch Worst Witch first because anything can happen on Halloween, you guys. Hey, Dover. Yeah? Would you still hang out with me if I turned into a bat? Uh, sure. <laughs> Excellent. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should probably stop watching our show immediately, go on YouTube, and watch the Anything Can Happen on Halloween song that Tim Curry sings. Then come back and you'll understand the joke. Or you might not, because he makes video and cassette references. <laughs> Bat savvy. That was like my sound of like the bat signal flying at the screen and going away. Okay, what am I doing? I'm going to flame spike. No. Um. Oh, I'm not supposed to imbued fire ever, right? Yes. Uh. I mean, you can, but uh. Yeah, he, he kind of relies on ice damage to be able to heal himself. <clears throat> so Well I can save yeah, it till like... fire makes everything fiery. Yeah, save it until like the last um Save it until our last big hurrah once he like flips to one hundred hit points and like we start really needing to deal damage. Okay, so here's my thought. I'm trying to to get the maximum amount of damage. What I'm wondering, yeah, I'm wondering if I should solar flare and take the four damage next turn and then flame spike. He is at full hit points. There's no better time than now. So, 
I'll solar flare, take the damage next time, and then I'll flame spike, and then I'll be able to get the maximum damage out of all of those cards. That's I what, agree. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay, we're going to solar, solar flare this turn. Boom. And then I'll get to do my Blazing Tornado, which is going to do three damage plus, I think, or like, three damage plus the three. two plus the other two. So this should do, yeah. like... This what? should do plenty. Yeah, this should do, like, seven damage or something. Right. Either land a big hit on Gloomweaver or take that pouch of bones out of the equation. Um... Can you take the pouch of bones out next turn, or will like I, or should I just do it? I, now? I can. I can certainly take the pouch of bones out. Let me look. Actually, mm, I, I I certainly have the means to take that out. I'll take the bones out. You go ahead and okay. You punch him in the face. Done. Confirm. I will set this on. Say on fire. I'm sorry. There's just Sweeney Todd. How many Halloweeny type movie references songs can we throw into this stream? I don't know. Actually, he'll be dealing six damage to himself, I guess. But you know what? Again, this will be the first damage he's taken all game. Um, that's fine. I still have a Healy card somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Uh, what Garfield Halloween Adventure song can we figure out for this stream? We gotta, we gotta get that in. <laughs> you appreciate all our songs and references? Thank you, Sam. I'm glad, I'm glad at least one person does. For real. Uh, select a card to put on top of the deck. Oh, yes. I want this back. Confirm. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Tempest is going to take his lightning slash back. Actually, you know what? Into the stratosphere. I like lightning slash, but being able to lock down his stupid deck is just... Pretty awesome. I, I enjoy it. You are uh, right, Otaku Dash. 100%. Uh, Definitely. Staff of Ra, Healy. Miss Bound, please. Yeah, uh, I haven't gotten a summon staff or any of my staffs yet, but it's fine because I'm I'm doing fine with my damage. How uh, about I click the thing? Uh, I guess I need that. But Legacy, I'm going to. Well, what do you think? Card draw or more damage? Um, I feel like I personally am good on, like, what cards I have. Actually, if you get Bolster Allies and you use it next turn, then we'll all get the things that we just got back. The Lightning Slash, the Fire Blast, we'll have those for our next turn. Alright. Alright, we'll do it. We'll do the thing. Thank you. Not as much damage I would have liked to deal, but you know what? Using that ball of lightning now would have just been a waste of something when I could have destroyed one of his ongoings if he has any in that deck. Of yeah. Uh oh. Why is he look? Behemoth. No, he looks happy. Yeah, we're we're all about to get hurt. It's probably fine. Select the first target to be dealt damage. Nobody. What does this do? When this card enters play, it deals each target four melee damage. That's garbage. Whenever... Well, he's going to start with himself because he's a jerk. Yeah. Whenever a hero uses a power, this card deals that hero to fire damage. No, that's going to upset my raw. Whenever... Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of any of that. Yeah, when this card is destroyed... Uh, one player may move this card into their hand. This card cannot be played from a player's hand. Is this- oh, it's a magma crystal. I get it. Exactly. Yeah, look, he's happy. Happy to do damage. Yeah. Sam, your nope emote is pretty much my everything right now. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. And then at this point, we can just kind of, you know, people get hit. Fast forwarding. <laughs> yeah, this might be where things uh, things go awry. Shh, it's fine. It's fine. Shh. Zombie servant. Uh oh. Okay. Cool. Cool. At the end of the villain turn, this card deals the. Please hold. No. No. Bye, I'm... Crystal Lake Behemoth. 
trying to read. Oh, I was trying to read, but it's fine. I guess. There. Uh, this card deals the... At the end of the turn, villain turn, this card deals the non-villain target with the highest hit points, three melee damage. Oh, so he killed the thing for us? Yep. That was helpful. Oh. More okay, zombies. Cool. Oh, it's going to kill this thing, right? Maybe? Oh, legacy. You can punch, don't punch legacy. That's rude. Okay. It's not very. That nice. could have gone worse. <laughs> okay, let's see now. He's got a lot of cards he didn't, that I haven't been paying attention to. Uh, absolute zero deals one target two cold damage, deals a second target to fire damage, uh, deals himself one cold damage and one fire damage. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, Thermal Shockwave is over here. Do it. <laughs> oh, Thermal Shockwave, wherefore art thou? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to destroy one zombie. I'm going to hit Gloomweaver for four. And then I'm going to hit absolute zero for nothing. Because he heals himself when iced. And then he deals himself a lot of damage. Ow! Why would you do that, Absolute Zero? Uh... That's actually a super good question. Uh... I'm just gonna have him heal himself up. That is a solid plan, I think. Wow, that is... You know how I feel about healing. Yeah, Absolute Zero, he's kind of a weird, tricky guy to <laughs> wrap my head around, but, you know, when, when he works, he, he he puts in the work. Uh, we... Oh, I can't bolster allies. I'm still on the top of my deck right now. Um... Uh, I might Danger Sense. I'm, sure they, I'm, I'm thinking Takedown. Or, uh... Motivational charge. Let's take down. Take down. Take down. Oh, villain cards cannot be played. Yeah, I think that's good. At the end of your turn, to... the villain target with the highest hit points deals legacy two energy damage. At the start of your turn, destroy this card. And... Yeah. What were you about to do? Uh. Well, never mind. I, I was going to have. Uh... Sorry, I'm watching. Uh, I'm watching things happen. Okay, so uh, Temp or Tempest is going to use that. Uh, oh, I guess he's not. I, I I outsmarted myself again. Oh wait, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. He has into the stratosphere. So yeah, I'm going to fling that zombie back on top of the deck, but he's not going to get to draw anything next turn. I like that. Uh, I'm just gonna have Night Mist skip here because she's gonna draw two cards, and then at during the environment turn she's gonna be able to. Uh, Master of Magic seems like a good idea, but I don't get to take advantage of it right away. Now you have a second one. All right, what am I doing? Flank spike? Is that what I'm doing this time? I think so. Uh, I think so, yes, because you're. Laying the hammer down on, uh, Gloom. Will I- if he flips, is the rest of my damage gonna still go on him? Or is it uh, just gonna go it away? Will. Okay. It will. You just have to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, let me see. You have 
Blazing Tornado deals three, plus two for Legacy's uh, Inspiring Presence and Galvanize, so that's right, five. five. And then plus two for Solar Flare, so seven. That would be... Okay, wait a minute. I... Well, and then I'm going to flame... So, I'm going to use Flame Spike. Raw deals one target, one fire damage. So that's going to be automatically three on right. him. Uh, plus it's the three, Solar five. Fair. So, yeah, so that's five. So that's unfortunately... A lot of damage is going to be... Uh, wasted. Wasted. So, save Blazing Tornado until your last thing. This isn't exactly how we wanted it to go, but... Um... So, what I could do... I don't know how much this would screw up Absolute Zero for a turn or two, but I could imbue fire, and then, um... That'll make my damage be more, and then just destroy the card. Wait a second, wait a second. I think I figured it out. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, we can skip back if this doesn't work. Use Flame Spike. Okay, I'm ready. I'm doing it. No! I'm ready. No. Meanwhile. I need the meanwhile. Right. Uh, Flame Spike. It's flame Spike. Or do, do we... Use it. Show, go down and where it says show all targets. Okay. I'm ready. I go to show all targets. I did. Target absolute zero. Oh. Let's see if this works. Oh, what's up, Spamdolf? Hi, little friend. Um. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. It's all right. He'll be fine. I know he'll be fine. <laughs> this is the guys are like hit me. Hey, Gloomweaver, want to see something cool? Get it? Cool? Ah? Uh? Oh! Uh -huh. Fantastic! Okay, so now... Oh, but Wait now... Okay, so now... Hold on. Go back in there. So now I still use two powers? Correct. Fantastic. Okay, so this is the Blazing Tornado. Yes. Plus... Look at that. The two from the Solar Flare, and then one, the two from Legacy's thing. So that's seven. Outstanding. That worked. Great. Question, though. Yes. Should I... No, I can't do that every time. I was like, should I just keep targeting Absolute Zero? <laughs> but then no, you'll no, die. No. Please don't. <laughs> hey, that worked great! Let me just keep casting fire at you, Absolute Zero! No, stop it! No! <laughs> oh god, no! <laughs> Ra, why are you doing this? <laughs> just do what you did last time! No! I can't! Okay, yeah, and destroy Solar Flare, because we cannot keep that up. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, do you- no. No. No, you don't. That's alright, that worked out- look at that! Down to 87. That worked- that was real nice. Bye, okay. zombie servant. I was just like, hey, you dropped this! <laughs> that was an excellent strat strategy. What are you doing? Try to take Lou Dolphin's job? Hey, look, I'm not. I just happen to notice that that was a thing, and it could be amazing. That worked amazing. Yeah, it... Every now and again, I have these little glimmers of, uh... <laughs> Hey, Smoldering Crystal. Oh, that's the same thing I, from before, right? Yep. I okay. think we know what happens now. <laughs> Loot Dover. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, wait a minute. 
<laughs> Dover, first lewd dolphin, then Handelabra! <laughs> That's true, he is trying to be a super villain. Or That's for... actually true. Yeah. <laughs> Stop hitting me! Stop making me better! <laughs> Guys, I'm there so bad about chat today, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then the world! Blue Dolphin keeps trying to destroy the world. Every time I pop by his stream, he loses to the, uh, what is that? The people that... The... The, the Celestial yeah, yeah, Tribunal? Yeah, yeah. Every time I go there, it's like the world's ending, and I'm like, man, I wouldn't have gone to work today. <laughs> I think Blizzard's gonna sue somebody. Yeah, that's the one, Citizen. Ugh, oh, I missed. I missed Tales from the Archive last night. I'm sad. I'll There's some to, good stuff. I'll have to watch the VOD. I had to do my stream last night. I've not been able to do streaming on my channel in a while, so I'm trying to do a lot before I have to not stream again. <laughs> and we were playing a scary game, we were looking through keyholes, and there were scary oh. things on the other oh. side. <laughs> I like. Oh, that was that was a good time. What do we think this was? King's Quest Four. Looking at the ogre. No, it was dark on the other side. What did we expect there? Not to be a scary bird eye. That was a pretty bad time. It was a bad time. I screamed. <laughs> I I heard the yell. That I'm was a good time. I'm so glad that I had my. I spent the time to like put that like equalizer on the microphone so that when you like make really loud noises, it do it doesn't like deafen people listening. So I'm really glad <laughs> I did that. Okay, unfortunately, yeah, he heals up and he gets to play his no. Hank oh, yeah, he he misses play a card face. Oh, I like oh, that. Right. Hank Red, we were playing oh, um, this game called The Last Door, and it's, uh, I think it's an indie game mm -hmm. by The Game Kitchen? And it's a point and click. It's very simplistic in uh, its interface, but it's, yeah, Sam's right, it's it's a lot of fun. So, it's a, it's a psychological horror game. I'm streaming because Halloween's coming up, and I, I can't stream a lot in October, so... Uh, I figured we'll start some spooky games now. Made you jump the first time it happened to you? Yeah, talking. I screamed. <laughs> Any plans to wear costume for how Halloween stream? Well, we we will not be streaming on Halloween because that's like a Wednesday or something. Um, I hadn't really thought about it. We'll, cons we'll take it into consideration. As tempting as it is to deal myself <laughs> more than half my life in damage. King's Quest 4, you tickling a whale uvula. <laughs> uh, not at the time we were looking through the keyhole. Do you not remember anything no, else about King's Quest 4? Oh. <laughs> no one was tickled at that keyhole situation. No. I... I love King's Quest 4. That's like probably one of my favorite. I don't. I can't really call it a point-and-click game because it's, one, it's still a, like a text-based. But yeah, I got the collector's edition. I think I bought them on sale. I suck at horror games, but I love love, love crafty and influence and mythos. <laughs> I suck at horror. Period. Let's <laughs> talk dash. I'm, you and me both, friend. I'm. I'm gonna say use that superhuman durability because he throws five damage each turn at everybody, so yeah, we're gonna want Legacy to hopefully stay alive as long as he can. I'm fine with that. King's Quest 3 was interesting, but like, I get... I don't tend to enjoy playing the original King's Quest, King's Quest 2, or King's Quest 3, because... I, I love pixel graphics, but it's almost a little too, um, 
rudimentary. Like, I understand that's the, that's what it was at the time, but there's so many ways to just, like, accidentally get yourself locked out from winning. So, and I know it's the same way in, like, 4 and, and the rest of that. Like, all of them have those kinds of things, but I would rather... Like, especially, like, King's Quest, what is it, 3, where you gotta, like, go, like, just type the spells in? Like... Ugh. So it's just, it's hard. Yeah, I've seen that there's remakes. Um, some I should play my take my turn. Can I fire blast this guy? Is oh, that, please do. I'm gonna do that. Please do. Um, I kind of on my stream someday plan to do a marathon where we start at King's Quest 1. I have the, like, remake of it, and then do the original two and three, like, just play all the way through all of them, and then start with, like, the Silver Lining fan game, and play through, like, any fan games just to, like, you know, do all of the King's Quest ever, because I love those games. My staff! You've come ah, to me! Just in time for the staff meeting. I'm just... I'm just Savvy? not... Savvy? <laughs> you alright, Savvy? Just... I love you. I love you, Dover. Don't let anyone ever tell you differently. Savvy? I've never played the Quest for Glory series, uh, King Banhammer. I... I want to, though. Time <laughs> to give Gloomy a little staff infection. And... Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Hero, you, is that something I need in my life, JC? We're talking adventure games today. It's an adventure game. First was musical stream, now it's adventure game stream. I'm just letting you handle this. <laughs> I'm like, what are you clicking? Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'm, I... I don't know. It's terrifying. Hey, rubber rats! Uh... Okay. As much as it pains me to get rid of the star shield necklace, I kind of need, uh... Oh, so it is something I need. Okay. Did you guys ever hear the Quest for Infamy? I've not played that one, but I have it. I think it's kind of like the opposite of Quest for Glory. I have a lot of games that just buy. I buy because they're on sale, and I'm like, this looks fine. I think and... we just kind of choose for me on the rest. All right. Uh... You're doing a great job, Dover. I say that because I was not helpful at all in the last, like, picking things. Uh, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, just gonna go ahead and, uh, ah, oh, jeez, ouch. This is fine, shh, it's fine. I'm skipping, I'm skipping. Skipped all the damage. All the damage. None of the All games the you. DMG. None of the games you ever want or want ever go on sale. Sam, that's kind of my life now. Now that I got a whole bunch of things, now like everything on my list like rarely goes on sale. I'm gonna write that game down right now. I'm gonna forget. Hero, you. Ooh. We gotta. Dover, we gonna win. It's gonna yeah, we, be, I think we got this. I think we got this in the in the bayug. All right, but but, but can night mist uh, skip? So and the night mist can deal damage. She can deal the damage we need, and the damage we deserve. <laughs> um. Hold so on. yeah, make just go ahead and uh, uh, maybe skip and then power up. Can can I motivational charge? Uh, let's see, motivational charge. Hold on, charge. let me. I'm gonna put it out because it's an ongoing. Any, it's a power. Let right. me see if I. 
Yeah, if you attack, how much is it going to deal? It says three. Because he doesn't... Right, he doesn't buff himself and there's no other crazy stuff. So yeah, yeah just... just to make sure, just hedge our bets. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. And this is just wide open. Skipping the heels. And that's even better. Hey, I got another motivational charge. <laughs> Get it, girl! Get it! Taste the taste the depths of the oblivion, or something. Oh, never mind. Miss the time. <laughs> Cultist simulator. Bye, Felicia. Do, 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 I don't know why I'm singing that. Oh, that looks like it hurts. <laughs> I love it. It's just looking down. He's like, whoa, that's not good. <laughs> so, maybe next game we'll get defeated, but it was not this one. So, nope. I have no idea what that was, Samson. I have no idea. I think it's something from yeah, Simpsons. That, that was Samford, Sam with Samford and Son. Okay. I feel like I, it, it's from Simpsons, but they were parodying something else. So... Yes, you okay. That seems right. Yes. Agreed, JC. Agreed. Oh, oh right. man. No ultimate progeny, Otaku Dad. That's fine. Alright, we got... I, let's... I was... Go ahead. Yeah, we, we got a half hour to play with, I guess. But yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking. That's, I, I've it's a dangerous kind of a, pastime. I've been kind of a, I know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I've been avoiding this place like the plague, uh, mostly because I hate it. Okay. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta push the baby bird out of the nest, I guess, into a horrible, nightmarish world of lights and evil laughter and whatnot. So we're, we're going to be going to uh, the place that I uh, lovingly refer to as Madame Megorium's Terror Emporium. Yeah, that's the one. I knew it. And um, just to make sure that even if we're defeated here, there are no losers. We're going to be fighting against Deadline. Where are you at, Deadline? He's between Kismet and Infinitor. Kismet? Oh, there she is. Oh, you know who I like? Kismet. Look at this mm. lady. Look at yeah, this lady. She ain't bad. I like her, uh, I like her, um, hair choices. Oh, this is Deadline. He looks like a fish. He looks like a fish man. He's, uh, one of the endlings, I guess, um, well, he's like a lizard fish man. I see. He's what? a radical peacemonger! <laughs> Okay. Who is his, who is his nemesis? His, his I believe it's the naturalist. Uh, uh -huh. I I think that's what that symbol means. Chat, do you want to help me out? But yeah, uh, Deadline, his whole thing, like he has an alternate win condition where he can just, you know, uh, win if he destroys the environment or something like that. Uh, so even if they, even if he destroys the environment, it will not be missed. I've never played the naturalist before. Would you like to, or would you like me to handle it? Uh, I guess that's up to you. Do you like to play him? Because I can. He's all right. It's important for me to learn things. <laughs> then. The day, they, the day they blew up the circus, a deadline tale. I literally have no, no I, I've never really even heard of this guy before. Because I, uh, I'm still new to the season two things. And most things. I haven't gotten to that part of the podcast yet. Don't tell anyone. Uh, if you will hold on just a minute. I, I was, I can't remember who I was going to play for this one. I'm holding, I'm, I'm holding onto the desk down. real tight. Consider your other characters. I'm, uh, I have to do some rustling here. Just a moment. I'll be right back. Okay.
You can do it, Sammy! Thank you, Bishop! Imagine a Captain Planet villain who becomes a shape-shifting hero. Well, I'm in. Okay? I'm in. Captain Planet, he's a hero. Gonna take pollution down to zero. Thank you, Sam. I feel like you need to release them from the beginning. I know, Sprockets Nancy. I feel like, um, as I, like, proceed in the episodes and then they start referencing pre previous episodes, I'm like, I feel like I need to go back and listen to that again. I remember most of the things. I will never stop believing, just like Journey. Just, <laughs> thank you, Sam. All right, well, I remember that the first guy was going to play some... Because I take this whole Miss Madame Magorium's Terror Emporium and its destruction with the utmost seriousness, I was going to play as this guy. Oh dear. This is yeah. going to be an interesting. I, uh. This is going to be a, an interesting fight. Sistine, maybe what we should all do, we should just all start listening to the podcast over from the beginning legacy episode, and then we can have like a book club every week and talk about it. <laughs> What did you miss? We're still picking things. This is it. This is all we're gonna use. That's not true. Who should I play? Who else should I play? Well, I don't know. I don't you're know either. The, you're the person who likes, you know. I'm only an elected official. I can't make decisions by myself. I'm kind of terrified of Oblivion. I mean, I we all are, but from all the everything I've heard about Oblivion, it is going to be incredibly difficult. <laughs> like, it's going to be straight up scary. Oh, oh Bishop, God. You, Bishop, you have. Um, hilarious. Like, this is the thing. Like, I'm kind of invested in the characters, and the notion that they're all dying, like, legit dying. I, I, I don't think my poor heart can handle it. Wrecks my, my heart. So... Hey, uh... Should I try Bunker? Uh... Hmm... Bunker he has like 800 guy. variants. Hmm. Yeah, he's definitely got a lot of variants. Uh, one thing I was gonna suggest is that I know that you just played Ra, but he has that excavation card, and <laughs> if Deadline is gonna be throw like, his whole thing is to destroy all the cards in the deck, then... We might want to have someone who can put cards back into the environment deck. All I heard was you should play Ra again, and I put I, him in. I put him in. Sure, why not? I, <laughs> that's that's what I heard you just say to me. Is that what you were saying to me? I yes. Okay. <laughs> Unless you want to play Ra this time. No, that's that's okay. Listen, Dover told no, me he I, wanted to I, me I, to play Ra again. What am I gonna do? Argue with him? No, I'm not. <laughs> I can, like, I can play Ra, and I'll just play one of his variants. Uh, you played the focus. Yeah. You played the while well, focusing on Christopher saying the only hit point that matters is the last one. Yeah, that's how it is when you play a mage anywhere. Is <laughs> you're like, but I almost died. The key word there is almost. <laughs> Pirate Sammy's like, playing Ra again. Oh no, you're twisting my arm. Why? Oh man. <laughs> what Dover says, analytic discussion of strengths and weaknesses. What Pirate Sammy hears, burning in all the things. <laughs> yep. Citizen gets me on a spiritual level. 
You know what? Dover, you gotta pick somebody. We're gonna. I'm doing it right now. We have Jeepers. 30 minutes till you got to go to bed. Completely disregarding oh, I... the fact that I we started 10 minutes late because of me. I, I no one can prove guy. that happened except people at the beginning yeah, of stream. Actually... No benchmark. Mark in the bench. Assessing <laughs> uh, a savvy we... spirit animal a little bit. Yes. Do we want to bring in a fifth person? Uh, I could shoot things with um, my favorite Your girl. Go for it. I'll shoot things. Or I could play Tempest this time. Uh, do do as you like. I don't know. I know we just played Tempest though. Bring an expatriate. She's uh, she ain't gonna be the weak link. Okay. Next time I'll play some. I'll maybe I'll play Bunker next time or something. Somebody new to learn. I know I play a lot of the same car caricatures, but uh, I like them. And no one's no one's going to demonize you for having favorites. Thanks. Oh God. Uh, the oh. terror emporium music. Oh, I'm playing naturalist, so you have to read the bad guy. You stand ready to defend your planet. That is good. Your planet will be saved, but you will not be spared. I don't know what voice this guy's supposed to use, so I'm just gonna do whatever. <laughs> I shall save my planet, my habitat, my friends, and myself. I fight for these things. What do you fight for? You're welcome. Let's, let's... <laughs> Onward! Okay. I, I, I just, real quick disclaimer, I am not going to fight for this place. This place, I, I do not care if Deadline destroys it. <laughs> it's like Deadline, it's fine. Okay, uh, villain, radical peacemonger. Setup, at the start of the game, Deadline enters play radical peacemonger side up. That's the side. And uh, atomic endglaive is put into play. Uh, the villain deck is shuffled. At the end of, oh, radic oh atomic endglaive, that sounds terrible. Uh, at the end of the villain turn, if there are three or more ca or catastrophe cards in play, deadline flips. Uh, otherwise, top card of the villain deck is played. So, is this someone we can keep from flipping? Uh, I think so. Remorseful eco vandal. At the start of the villain turn, if there are no cards. Oh, but he can flip back. At the end of the turn, turn all environment cards are destroyed, and the environment trash is shuffled into the environment deck. Then all cat. Oh my god, why can't I say cata catastrophe? Cards are destroyed and deadline deals each. Let's you know what we're gonna worry about if he flips if he flips. Right. So we just have to pay attention Let's to how many as many catastrophe cards as we can. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. I'm gonna start the game. Do it. Atomic Englame. At the end of the villain turn, the card this card deals the hero target with the highest hit points three energy damage. Okay, there's I don't wanna say things could be worse, but that doesn't seem too terrible. Attacker Dash, there is no place, there is no way to make this place even worse. Yeah. Calc if anything, Spite would add some much needed levity to it. Pandemonium Key, that sounds fun and scary. Happy benchmark. Okay, wait, so what are these other two cards? I said, uh, okay, calculated Orogenesis. At the start of the villain turn, play the top card of the environment deck. Then that environment card deals each non-villain target two melee damage. That's stupid. Well, it's a catastrophe. We should try to get rid of it. Oh, yeah. We'll do that. How do we get... Okay, hold on. The first time an environment target enters play each turn, the top play the top card of the villain deck. That I don't like any of these things. How do we get uh, rid of... I, I... Nope. Ugh, God, that the music. Nope, music... Nope, nope, nope. Where's Sam? Where's Sam? Sam emote. I need it. I no, need, there's. I need Sam nope emote. There is. Uh, on my way home from work today, there was a person with a license plate that just said nope, and I was like, wow, that's. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> um, oh, it's, I'm first. Okay, so cornered beast ongoing. If there are more non-hero targets than hero targets, which there are, there are not. not right now. Increase damage dealt by the naturalist by one. Okay, so that's kind of pointless. Destroy a target with three or fewer hit points. That's fun. Um, oh, so these are all like animal forms, kind of? Okay. Right, um, if he has uh, an animal 
Oh, shut up, Terror Emporium. Uh, resilient hide. Whenever na- exactly one damage would be dealt to the naturalist, prevent that damage. At the start of your turn, the naturalist regains one hit point. I like that immediately. Uh, shifter's strength. Uh, discard any number of cards. Draw as many cards as you discarded this way. You may play a card. That seems like that would be good. Uh, oh, I have two of those. Uh, I'm probably going to just put out Resilient Hide. Uh, yeah? Sure. That, that works for me. Because I don't have, like, garbage to get rid of yet. Not really, no. And Cornered Beast is not, like, super helpful. So. Right. I agree. So... Okay, search... Okay, power. Search your deck or trash for a form and put it into play. If you searched your deck, shuffle your deck. Alright, so I guess we'll put this out. Mm -hmm. And you may as well put the rhino out there just because... Uh, That's the rhino monster. Or, yeah. Uh, so, deck, uh, obviously. That reminds me of uh, James and the Giant Peach. Uh, anyone who's seen the, the movie James and the Giant Peach, uh, whenever uh, James is talking about the giant cloud that took his family away... Uh, they refer to it as the rhino because it looks like a rhinoceros. And I always heard it as wino. It's like, it's the wino! And then, like, this guy, this, like, shabby-looking dude in a trench coat shambles out of the cloud. He's like, hey, I can't get you spare some change. It's wino! And they start screaming and run away. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and retcon that catastrophe. Uh, so, blatant reference is your first card, Yeah. Blade reference is a reference to uh, Pulp Fiction. Okay. Say what again? Again. Uh, I can't do... Uh, I, I, I cannot do Guy's voice. Look how cool I am. I'm just like that actor, what's his name? At the end of each hero turn, you may discard one card. If you do, Guy's deals one, da one target, one projectile damage. At the start of your turn, destroy this card. Uh... And then gimmicky character, he has an oh, he's jumping. gimmicky character. Uh, he's not jumping the shark, he's jumping with the shark? Discard the it's shark top jumping? card. Of... He is jumping the shark. Uh, <laughs> discard the top card of every deck. Guys deals, or guys regains hit points equal to the number of target or target cards discarded. You may play a card. Uh, I'm <laughs> leery about playing that because we're trying not to let the environment deck run off of cards. True. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and use retcon. Destroy one ongoing or environment. You may draw a card or play a card. So yeah. I like it. I'm going to destroy that calculated orogenesis. Yeah, because we don't want catastrophe cards. I did it and that I'm gonna time. Draw a card. Swap. Oh sweet. Look what I found. Sitting with the one shot bar. And matter of fact, I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to play. Look what I found. The first time an environment target enters play each turn, play the top card of the villain deck. Nope, ain't having that. Oh god, we gotta keep talking. I mean... I, I, I love the music in this game, but we, we have to drown this out. This is a bad time. <laughs> That's fine. Hey, look, I have two fire blasts. It's um, like drawing them in the middle of the game. I know. Oh, so yeah, f uh, fire, uh, light it up, yo. Light it up, 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 light it up, up, up. Or you could fire. Inferno and... Yeah. Well, may maybe not Inferno yet. Maybe wait until yeah. there are more targets. Um, God, God forbid. Should I destroy the pandemonium key? Please do. Okay. And I'll burn it. It's on fire. <laughs> Sprockets, Nancy. Sprockets. This is beautiful. Um. So then, Sprockets. should I start hacking away at music? <laughs> uh. Burning down the house. Um, I'm gonna burn this atomic glaive. Is that okay? No. Yeah, please do. I'm doing it. Just take away all of his toys. No toys for you. Summon staff! Man. Having Does a that mean he summons the Ennead? Probably. Man, 
I had never played the Ennead before, was it last week? I really liked playing the gum. We should play them again. Yeah, they, they were they were a solid group. Okay, so I really like the Egyptian theming. All the old paintings on the tombs, they do the sand dance. They move too quick. Falling down like a domino. Okay, so what I just played, Benchmark, I had him play uh, Flyby, which lets him deal up to three targets, two energy damage apiece. And then I can either play a card or return that card to his hand. As handy as uh, Flyby is, yeah, I know he's got more in his deck, so I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna hold on to it. I'd rather play another card. So I played uh, Deployment Actuation. Reveal cards from the top of the deck. Oh God. Reveal cards from the top of your deck until a hard is revealed. Put it into play. Discard other revealed cards. You may remove a hardware or software card, or you may move a hardware or software card from your trash to your hand. <laughs> Yay! So he drew reinforced exo chassis, which reduces damage dealt to him by one. Uh, I was tempted to play the Legion Core processor, uh, which you know lets him use extra powers on his turn, but he doesn't have any extra powers. So what's the point? Uh, Trying his to find other this card. card. <laughs> you know, his other card is Ally Matrix. It's a power. Uh, discard a card if you do. One other player may draw a card and use it, which will be super uh, useful later. But in the meantime, he is going to draw a card and he is going to attack this atomic end blade. No. No, I don't want to. What did it say? It said, come closer. No. <laughs> closer, Rosella. Closer. No scary rat in a jar. All right. Here, my girl. Here, my girl. She got liquid red nitrogen rounds, which is ammo, which is unhelpful at the moment. Quick draw. Search your deck for your trash or your trash for either pride or prejudice and put it into play. Uh, so this is a solid card right here. Uh, speed loading. Awesome. Not good yet though, because I think I have to have. Uh, yeah, I just have to take ammo from trash and put it on top of your deck. And then you may play yeah. one. So, not helpful. I could play my submachine gun, but why would I do that when I have can get my beautiful uh, pride? Is that the one I want first? Yeah, pretty. Pretty is first. Yeah. So, up to two yeah. ammo cards may be played next to this card at a time. Expatriate deals one target, two projectile damage. If prejudice is in play, you may play its power now. So, we put pride out first. Correct. Boom. Get out there, my girl. What is her regular Direct. power? Okay, her regular power is play a card. So in theory, I could just play her submachine gun. Um, but I think I'm just gonna shoot him. <laughs> yeah, just shoot I'm just it. gonna shoot the thing. Yeah. Make it happen, Captain. I'm gonna shoot this Englave weapon thing. I'm starting to feel like I should have saved that retcon. I mean, catastrophe. Arsenal yeah, access. Like Man. Sweet! Your 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 hand was really low on flak jacket. I know. What am I gonna do? Um, wait a minute. You won't believe your eyes. At the start of the environment turn. Oh God. Hold on. I want to read that card. Yeah. Stop okay, playing that's... cards. Stop playing catastrophes. Yeah, this could be a problem. Well, it's a good thing we got rid of that first one. Yeah. Okay, well, let's talk about that environment card that got played. Is that Young Legacy? Right? That's... Well, it's it in... In, the, in this environment card? Where it says you won't believe your eyes? Because this is a regular Legacy. Yeah, it's an it's evil... She's, like, evil? Um... Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Hello again, my... I can't, I'm not gonna do that. Hello again, my old foe, Baron Blade, crowed as Legacy entered the room. Have you met my daughter, Ivana? She follows closely in her father's footsteps. Oh, so he, like, does some, some mojo on poor young Legacy. Mm. Alright, um, I assume. Yeah, she was hypnotized. Makes sense. Okay, um. Yana, I was hypnotized. Thanks. 
Thanks, chat. Okay, at the start of the environment turn, each character card deals itself X psychic damage, where X equals the number of attractions in play. Uh, if fewer than five targets took damage this way, destroy this card. So there's no attractions in play right now, though, right? Okay, so good. Uh, it won't it won't do anything to us. Okay, um... Alright, so this catastrophe card. At the start of the non... At the start of the villain turn, deadline deals each non-villain target one irreducible melee and one irreducible fire damage. That sounds terrible. And then, I guess I clicked that arrow. Whatever. Uh, Sever ley line. At the start of the villain turn, each player shuffles their trash into their deck and deadline regains three hit points. That's less awful, but whatever. Okay, um... What is this? Naturals, um... Oh, I don't have alligator. Uh, the naturals deals one target two melee damage. Okay, so I don't want to do this because I don't have the alligator out, right? Right, you don't want to do that yet. Ivan is his actual daughter? Oh, wait a minute. It's... Oh, everybody says she was hypnotized. I don't know. I didn't think... I didn't think Baron Blade had kids. Um... I just keep thinking of uh, the alternate universe luminary, the the Lady Baron Blade, uh, and um, speaking of, to those of you who've played, um, actually never mind. I gotta focus on this game. We only got so much time. Yeah, we're running low on time. Um, should I? Um, oh, shut up, evil children! Shut up. Okay, uh, maybe Shifter Strength and ditch the other Shifter Strength and Cornered corner Beast. Good! Uh, what? Alright. Because right now your hand isn't doing you any favors. Yeah, well, I mean, if I had the other form out, it might be okay. I said... Uh, Keep Feral Fury, I think. How do I not discard any Just more cards? Stop. Hit stop above the. Oh, I see. The Predator's Eye. I guess I need to put out this alligator looking. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to switch my forms, yeah. I guess. Yeah, switch forms. Switch to the alligator. Okay, so I shouldn't use any of these cards, right? Because they're yeah. all one shots, so they'll waste yeah, the alligator. Yeah, don't don't do that. Just switch to your alligator. My deck. This one. Yes, we get it, Zoltar. You're creepy. Up. This house back here does not look look fun at all. Good, I got another shift of strength. That's one. Play it. Play it now. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. that guy. I'm reading it. <laughs> Legacy. Look at spelled it. Like... Legacy? To some kid. Guys. It's just like, um... Okay. Uh, when this card enters play, give another player a high five. If you do treat this card as if it had the game text of every ongoing card in that player's play area, replacing their hero's name with guys, and... You on that card means guys as player. Okay. Don't use that on the naturalist. <laughs> okay. And, like, no one has any... Ah, uh, man. And he has to take any... Yeah, you know what? Blatant reference. Fine. I normally don't like playing that one, but... It'll be fine. What could go wrong? Hmm. Yeah, I said it. This is a tasty burger. This is a tasty burger. Oh. Wait, I gotta skip back. Okay. Do the thing. Do the Draw thing. Draw a card. I I know, Savvy. Just, you know. 
Staff, obviously. Flame spike, I like that. Um, I could, I could flame spike and kill the glaive, and then hit, hit the guy. But then, you wouldn't be able to use an extra power. Oh, you're right. You're right. I say put the staff out there. Yeah. And then just uh, finish off the glaive. Yeah. I like healing. Even did I need healing? I don't even know. I don't. I don't think so. Well, what a waste. Okay, now we just gotta start laying into okay, deadline and hope we draw some. Hope to God we draw some ongoing destruction. I'm gonna start fast forwarding now whenever I can. Cause nine minutes. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the pirate duo. Well, well, well. If it isn't lewd, the lewdest of dolphins. Yes. Welcome. We chat. Wait. Ah. Oh, this music. Things are going great, right. Dolphin. In case you're wondering. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna arsenal access and hopefully get something good. Yeah, spam Dolph. You know this too, right? Yeah, assault rifle. I guess we'll take my assault rifle. Yeah, uh, put this. Go ahead and put it in play. It's fine. It's fine. Right. Just shoot him with pride, I guess. Well. Oh yeah, there's nothing else to deal damage with, but. No, there, there's not. Yeah. Shoot him! him. Th Listen. Thank you, chorus. I think I feel like this music is less creepy than the uh, scary violin playing guy yesterday. You know what? The scary violin guy had issues, alright? Yeah, he was crazy. <laughs> oh, don't deal, don't deal damage to us. This is a terrible idea. Haha! -ha. Gone what? without a what? trace. What is this? Oh, Subduction Super Zone. Ongoing ca uh, catastrophe. Oh, this is the... At the start of the villain turn, Deadline deals each non-villain target one irreducible melee and two one irreducible fire damage. Well, that's stupid. That's two irreducible damage. Fast that's... forward. I don't care about this damage. Okay, discard a card. Um, 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 Intel Analyzer. Uh, select the first hero to shoot for me. This is going to make us all... No, thank you. Choose for me. Okay, fast forward. <laughs> Welcome to Dolphin's Dive, where we show you two hours of dolphin footage and hope you like it. And you like it. Okay. You need so... IRL Sentinel friends? Dolphin, you come play Sentinel Friends. Walk Sentinel Friends, come play Sentinels help. with me. Mine deals each non-villain target X irreducible fire damage and removes the top X cards of the environment deck from the game, where X equals the number of catastrophe cards destroyed this turn. There are no cards left in the environment deck and heroes lose game over. At the end of the villain turn, if there are no catastrophe cards in play, the dead deadline flips. So right now he's just going to Oh, this is okay. So yeah, this is this is bad. 
Oh, he's drawing all his cards, destroying his cards to flip? Yeah, he, he flipped. Now he destroys all of his cards. And now he deals each of us... A lot of damage. Yeah, plenty, plenty of damage. Okay, but it's the same health pool no matter which side he's on. Okay, that's Correct. good at least. So um, lay into him with whatever you got. Okay, so he's just going to flip back, though. At the start of the villain turn, if there are no catastrophe cards, he'll flip back. Right. So that's... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just All right, hit him. Um, Whatever you got. The Feral Fury, I think, is good. Naturalist deals oh, one target, two melee damage. The Naturalist deals one target, two toxic damage. So um, we're going to do that. Uh, predators... No? No, no, no. This is, this is fine. This is fine. But Predator's Eye is, is going to be really good. Yeah, well, if we're doing damage, then that's the one I should probably use. I hit him. I hit him for four. All right. This might be what. This might end our winning streak, friends. It's fine. I, have, I mean, we're you still know what? pretty full with health. Yeah, we're still okay. Uh, and to be fair, uh, what's his name? Um. The little blue freaky gnome. Uh, Is a date, Lou Dolphin. We play Sentinel someday. Is a date. Lock it in. Put it. Wager master. Wager master. Yeah, that's the he one. Has wager all master. All kinds of like kooky, like instant lose conditions that he could have thrown at us, but you know he wasn't able to beat us, and I think that we can take this guy too. Uh, select which power to use. Uh, the deadly crocodile. The this, deadliest yeah, I'm, warrior. I'm gonna do my, my crocodile. I'm gonna bite him with my jaws. Give him the chops. The naturalist nemesis. Hyperactive senses. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna go ahead and not do the whole... Okay, blatant reference is gone. Uh, I'm gonna gritty reboot this. Ugh, Lou Dolphin, I need, like, all of the achievements. Oh, shut up, clown laugh! I can't deal. I, I did can't the, relate! I did the cheater way of unlocking all the variants. Because I wanted them now, and I have no patience. I want it now. Fire blast! Oh, summon wait, staff. Summon. summon staff. I remembered. I saw it, and then I went, wait. Flame barrier? Sadly, I, I love flame barrier. Thanks, Dover. Your belief is all I ever need. Now I'm going to burn uh, him. Yes. <laughs> but now fire. <laughs> Your belief and fire are the only things I need. Oh, should have infection playing with Jeremy and John? You're <laughs> that sounds bad, but you're right. Uh, yes. Aw, oh, Dolphin, you are the kindest human helping everybody. The kindest the Dolphin. Dash. You are a kind Dolphin. Yeah, see, this is... Put... That excavation, have... that's the card I wanted, right? Are we still flipped? Why are you still flipped? Uh... Yeah, okay. I admit it. Guys, this is uh no not guys, but people. This this is my weakness. This is this is my <laughs> it is very nice about spreading his epidemic. What we doing? What we doing, Dover? I'm not sure yet. I don't know. We got two uh, minutes. Beat okay. him in two minutes. I shut up. Dolphins are highly social creatures and are known to help Sentinels players who have fallen overboard or been shipwrecked. What? Huzzah. What a nice dolphin. Uh, hit him with that icy stuff. Okay. What you got, Lou Dolphin? What does my speed loading do? Uh, you may take one ammo card from your trash and put it on top of your deck. At the start of your turn, you may play. That's not helpful. All right, get on my gun. Get on my pride. Uh, Lou, that's the thing. Savvy works today, I think, and so she gets home at a certain time, and then 
I wake up at 4.30 every morning, so I have to go in time. So, unfortunately, we're just kind of in this, um... Yeah, we're, we're kind of in a bad way, but, you know, yeah, figure we, it out. We could potentially start a little earlier, but the problem is, is sometimes Monday traffic getting home for me is crazy. And I just don't want to promise you guys we'll be here 30 minutes earlier and then not be. Like, today we started 10 minutes late because of, because of me. I got home late, a little late because traffic was bad because it was pouring rain. And then I was worried because there was some pretty bad lightning on the way home, and I'm like, I can't stream if there's going to be lightning. So there was some concern about that on my end, but it stopped raining with enough time. But I hadn't, like, opened anything in case I needed to shut everything down really fast. So, you know. The best right. part of pouring rain is everyone forgets how to drive. You are right, Lou Dolphin. You are correct. Lou Dolphin, the Midwest, loves that. Like, that, sh that should be the national the motto of the midwest it's just everyone forgets how to drive it's getting bad by the way i just want to call attention to the fact that um benchmark and deadline just got hit by a giant pool ball ow and um predator's eye maybe yeah i was gonna say should i play the other feral fury or predator's eye so i'll do that predator's eye okay i'm gonna hit this guy Do I want to draw a card? Um, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Because that's just more damage. Oh. Let me drop the two cards. A naturalist deals one target X melee damage, where X is whatever that number is. It's small on my screen. Minus the number. Oh, okay. I see. Confirm. Hit him. Okay. And then right, I'm so going to bite him. The goal of this turn is just deal him as much damage as possible. We might... I bit him. I bit him with my teeth. Hey, I got the predator's eye again. Give him the chomp. <laughs> it's not the size chomp. of the number that matters. It's what you do with it. Lewd dolphin is lewd. Actually, that's super true where Guys is concerned because he could just kind of... Monday traffic is the worst. Hello, Martuchman. We need to fund me. We need to fund me to get Savvy a Bigfoot truck so she can stream early. <laughs> You guys. Okay. I remember this card. Savvy, do some stuff. Oh, uh, okay. I know what I said before about Flame Spike, but, like, even if we. Wait a minute. Yeah, you have another Staff of Raw. You can use Flame Spike and then hit him with your base power and then hit him with the Staff. And then just play another Staff next turn. Okay. So, wait, flame spike, right? Yeah. Wanna, yeah. Okay, doing it. I'm gonna burn him. Fast forwarding through the damage. Right. I'm gonna hit him with my staff. Well, you know, your, your base power first. Oh. Whoops. I'm your gonna hit him with my base power? Shh, you guys right. didn't see that. Nothing happened. Because the staff still gives you Right, because the buff. You're correct. You, yes. As soon as you said that, I'm like, you're right, you're right buff, and then now the staff. Yes. Now we burn in here. Now oh, this hideous music. Uh. Good, another flame spike. <laughs> oh, gosh. What is this attraction? At the end of the environment turn, deal the hero target with the highest hit point and villain target with the highest hit point to projectile damage each. Oh, look at this uh, world's biggest pool table. That's That looks fun. Did anyone get the number of that giant ball? That's what she said. Burn him! Burn him alive! But don't kill him. I don't know how much damage I can deal him. Death by pool ball. <laughs> And all kinds of fun redirecting damage and such. Uh, apparently, after nine o'clock, this stream becomes a lewd stream. <laughs> Kidding. Sure does. <laughs> Dolphin shows up. There's. Never mind. We all heard that whisper. I know. <laughs> 
Do you think I can do it? I, oh. I think you can. We might be able to put the kibosh on this. I think we can. Okay, so just hit him with the, um, well, first arsenal access. Yeah, first we're doing this. Um, excuse me. Excuse me, I'm trying to find prejudice, please. Of course. My shotgun! Give it to me. Get in play. Get in play, my beautiful gun. I will shoot you one time. One beautiful time. Click, click, boom! Look at that, everyone. I do want naturalist to end it. Okay, wait a minute. Is that... The one sword just pulled the table. Okay, two projectiles. Oh, fine. Fine. shotgun gonna shot it from. Um. No, it's fine. It's fine. Each hero target one projectile damage. That's fine. And two. And then two damage to. That's. That's fine. That's fine. Uh -oh. Wait, uh, uh, damn it. That's all right. We'll get it next uh, time. Okay. No, well, our undefeated down. streak is ruined. Ah. Uh, <laughs> No, it isn't. We still won. I know, we still won. Expatriate, you just got really excited with your gun. I should have shot her with pride. That's all right. I guess we'll just have to fight him again sometime, you guys. You know what? It's only natural That's... the environment steals the wind from the naturalist. You're right, Lou Dolphin. I hate Madame Megorium's Terror Emporium so much. <laughs> the Terror you Emporium had to get one. one over on me. <laughs> uh. That's all right. Listen, we didn't. Damn you, Madame We didn't Magorium. do the math. Listen, we didn't do the math. That's on us. But we didn't have. This wasn't too bad, actually. I I, I would fight this guy again. The stream to do math. It's the best in that it's the worst. Don't you hate it when the pool table steals your kills? Ah, uh, right, rubber rats. Right. Cue ball gonna be so smug. I know. <laughs> Damn you, Madame Magorium. You think you've got big balls? Well, we've got the biggest balls below! What? <laughs> I need to go to sleep, Savvy. I know, you tired. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I know. <laughs> I've clearly gone insane. So overtired. This passed over bedtime. I'm gonna slowly slump down to the floor. Oh, guys, not yeah. Before, Dolphin, not before we finish the outro. That's true. We do an outro in a second. But, guys, it looks like Dolphin's gonna be doing a thing. Gonna do a thing. Go click his link if you need that achievement. Thank you, Citizen. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the plushie. Oh, man. Ahem. <clears throat> ah. Uh. Okay. Well, hold on a minute. I'm, I'm still hugging on, uh... I'm, I'm still hugging, uh, Mr. Chops. <laughs> that's right, Mr. Chops. That's right. We still won. Okay. Ah, we hope you enjoyed this episode of On Deck with Pirate Savvy and, Do and Dover. Come back Mondays, 7 p.m. Eastern Time for more Sibling Sentinel shenanigans. If you want more fun handle lobber content, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. is Sentinels Live with John and Jeremy, the wonderful handle lobber game developers. Uh, check in for Sentinels, One Deck Dungeon, Bottom of the Ninth, and even previews of new content. Fridays at 6 p.m. Eastern Time is Dolphin's Dive. Come join Lou Dolphin for the Summer of Ultimates, which I guess is the Autumn of Ultimates now. Uh, he uses his pro strats to puzzle through some of the multiverse's greatest challenges. If you enjoy... Uh... Dover. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I might not have finished this part. I, I do, see that. Do what you can with it. You've let down another letdown with this. I, I, my god. If you like uh, Sentinel's lore, uh, tune in Sunday nights at 7 p.m. and settle in with some popcorn and get ready for a great Sentinel storytelling with another letdown on Tales from the Archive. Don't forget you. Oh, yeah. Cause... Me. If you want to see more of me, Pirate Savvy, you can find me on my channel, twitch.tv slash Pirate Savvy, and you can otherwise find me on Twitter uh, at twitter.com slash Pirate Savvy. Right now, uh, I'm in, in the middle of playing, um, it's called... Um, the um, Last Door. The Last Door, and it's by uh, The Game Kitchen, and it's um, kind of a psychological horror game. I'm playing Halloween-y things, so I'll be playing it 
sporadically over the next week. Um, we have one episode left of season one, and then I think there's four or five episodes in season two. I'm going to try to finish it before uh, next weekend, in theory, or I'll finish it next weekend. <laughs> it just depends on when I have some time. But that's what we're doing on my channel right now, so give me a come over and check us out if you if you want more more of me. Anyway, that was a very long plug. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. You're, you're, you're entitled. Sentinels of the Multiverse was created by Greater Than Games and adapted to the digital version by Sandlot. If you're looking to pick up the super fun game yourself, Sentinels of the Multiverse is currently available for iOS, Android, PC, Mac, Linux, via Steam, and always by a good old analog cardboard name. You can get the game and more information at sentinelsdigital.com. Thank you guys. As always, we're coming out every week. We love you so much, and this, it's it's so much fun playing these games with you guys. So we will see you. Oh, we will. Yes, we will see you next Monday. Um, however, on the eighth, um, I don't know if we talked about this last week, but um, on the eighth, I will be uh, doing family time, and um, it's it's I will not. We will not be able to stream, is, is the point. So, um, in th we're planning to pre-record an episode for you guys, so there will still be a new content, like, recording on October 8th, I believe. That's our Monday. Um, but it will not be live. However, if we can, we'll try to be in chat, since it'll be, like, a premiere. So, if you guys want to come and hang out and watch, we should maybe be i think we can probably be there the, 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 we'll plan to try to be there if we can't be we'll let you know uh but that's kind of the the rough plan right now so um because otherwise we would just have to cancel completely and i'd i'd rather not do that if possible so anyway we'll but we'll let you know more next week but um th again thank you guys so much for coming we love you so much um and we will see you next week see you then in the meantime Sleep time is now. Good luck, Lou Dolphin, in, in your in, in your game for tonight. And I, on the other hand, I'm going to be taking Mr. Chaucer and he's going to bed. Isn't that right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night, Savvy. Nice playing with you, as always. It's great playing with you too, Dover. All right. Good night, Brad. Good night, friends. Good night. Good night, everybody.